Welcome to the official topic talk. Please like, share and subscribe. Audio jungle. Right, Steve. So Molly Russell, what's the story with Molly Russell? Can you um, fill me in on this whole situation? Um, basically, what you're dealing with, it's a, she, she was a teenager back in 2017. And um, she was viewing content um, online via Pinterest. Um, and there, there was another website. Um, and she basically, from viewing this content, um, she took her own life in 2017. She committed suicide. And it's recently been brought up in government and, and the bill's been passed about online safety as regards to some of these platforms um, that are allowing content that shouldn't be viewed by um, children. I'll say young teenagers um, on the subject of suicide um, and, and, and the likes of and for a young child to be able to view this sort of content online, um, you know, basically um, showing you suicidal videos, how to commit suicide, the police viewed 17 videos um, that Molly viewed uh, just prior um, to her death. And her family have been campaigning since 2017 aimed at these bigger platforms that are making millions of, of money um campaigning against um these big platforms being able to allow content that shouldn't be viewed by these youngsters um to do a suicide um and stuff like that wow like just to think about that there's a few, there's a load of things that i could actually speak to in regards to that and um, i want to know I want to sort of react to that the best way. First off, uh, you know, a young girl has went online and was, do you know if she was having them thoughts and she was sort of researching how to do it and then she went and was done she, it? Or was she not in that, that way inclined whatsoever and she's seen this content or these things and then done it? Well, she was suffering from depression. Right. Um, around about the time and she was 14 years old. Wow. Um, I, I'm Maybe. not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how the, the depression came about um, in her life. Um, but needless to think that a 14 year old should never feel depressed um, or anything along them lines. How long ago was um, it? This was in 2017. Um, she was 14 years old and she took her life. Um, but she was suffering from depression and the coroner made an unusual step um to say that the content um that these producers put on their platforms was a contribution to her death yeah yeah no listen i i don't i haven't researched the story i don't know too much about the story apart from what you've just told me but around about 2017 and from about 2015 onwards there was an influx of people coming online. Now, as I say, this might not co-align with the story that you've just said. But from about 2015 onwards, there was a massive influx from people from the dark web who used to operate on the dark web, coming onto the surface web, using apps like Telegram, uh, WhatsApp, Pinterest, encrypted sort of apps and websites that they could post their content on. And some of it was, sub sorry, I can't say this word. Some of it was subliminal. And what, what do I mean by that? So what they would do is they would come on. We've all seen the Disney things where you see Disney characters and then you take away certain pieces and it looks like a penis. That's true that they, they did do that, right? It was, it was disgusting, right? Disney's, Disney's known for that. Disney is a terrible, terrible, evil, dark place right there's lots of conspiracy theories over disney and what are the, what some of these monsters would do 
they would put their content on places like Pinterest on certain websites, but there would be all be subliminal messages. So you could search like 2017, there was there was there's no excuse for in 2017 for things to be shown to 14 year old girls and how to end your own life. Right. That's not the dark ages. That's only a couple of years ago. Right. We're only coming up to 2023. But a lot of these people have done this. And there is a trend on these apps like YouTube, Twitter. Twitter's, Twitter is one of the biggest ones. I'll get into that in a minute. And um, Twitter, Instagram, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, ha, you know, you know, Meta, Facebook. These people have been scrutinized and these people have been pulled apart in, in courts and in Congress and things like that and all around the world because they were allowing certain of the, certain types of content. Now, it wasn't people out there showing their breasts or showing their penis or getting shown nudity, but they were promoting a certain lifestyle. So for instance, a young kid, 14 years of age, is suffering from depression. Now for me personally, myself, if I'm not a doctor, so don't take this as true words, but at 14 years of age, I wasn't suffering from depression. At 14 years of age, I don't know anybody that I knew that was sad, male or female, right? You're, you're just living, for your friends and i'm sure it did go on i'm sure there was children so i'm sure there is children that suffer from depression <laughs> but with the influx of TikTok, facebook instagram youtube not so much youtube actually but the rest of them they promoted a lifestyle to these children that and a lot of these evil creatures these evil creatures from the dark web came in and infiltrated all these apps and posted this type of content on the in the hopes that a 14 year old girl would see it and use it because they get gratification um, from this type of from this type of thing. Now I'm not saying that that happened in that case, but I know in 2017, um, you know, there was a lot of talk about this. That these people were doing this on these apps and, and and these certain websites it's absolutely it's absolutely terrible that a young girl has ended her life and um, if you're feeling that way if you're feeling like you're going to end your life and then you go on to websites that could be corrupted by evil monsters there should be something in place just like google if you type into google how to end your own life it comes up with hundreds of different numbers and if you, i think if you type it in so many times they contact the authorities themselves so you know what i mean it's it's the lifestyle it's a different culture that we've moved into steve at 14 years of age mate i i don't think that i would be thinking those things um i it's 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 terrible that you that you that she actually got that in from me. what what website was it pinterest app was a pinterest um there, there were 17 videos that the police viewed that she proved through prior um and that was from pinterest um and there was another uh platform um there was two platforms that she she was viewing this content from um i do believe the majority came from uh, a platform pinterest um i can't say that i've ever viewed that platform um i i, I didn't hear of pinterest and, until i read the uh read the article in the paper recently but i mean it, the bill's been passed through parliament now um the prince of wales has thrown a heck of a lot of weight behind it too um for these platforms now to think about online safety as regards to um youngsters being able to view this sort of content for sure steve but you have to be very careful that these people that are connected to elitists don't use this opportunity to sort of censor more things that they shouldn't be censoring. I mean, what there should be, what there should be talk about is, is if you're going to start a social media account, there should be identification. There should be an identification process in all these apps. So you identify, you have to give a, some type of identification on who you are. So then a, 16 or 17 year old isn't view or yeah sorry 16 year old and minus shouldn't be viewing content for over 16 years of age do you know what i mean and i mean 
that's that's the way it should be. But these people will latch on to this. It was just like the Madeleine McCann case, Steve. When Madeleine McCann went missing, Gordon Brown used that opportunity to try to bring in a European surveillance where basically everybody was going to get chipped or have a card or you had to carry something on you to prove who you were. And these elitists, these politicians will use this situation and they don't give a shit about the girl. They don't, these, the, the royal family, the, the politicians, they don't care. They, they latch on to these things and they try to bring in more censorship. There shouldn't be censorship for over 18 content. But what I would agree with is identification for all social media or any apps that you download. For you. Even if you have a phone or you buy a lap laptop, you have to identify yourself as a person that is over the age to watch that. And it's not just clicking a button saying, yes, I'm over 18. There is an identification process that you're of age to watch this content, not censoring all content and censoring all speech. Because what they normally do is, is they use a situation like this, they get their foot through the door and then they unleash the hounds. And I don't think that would be doing justice for that young girl.